Hey everyone, this is Lyndon with HTC One Softmodder, and today I'd like to show you how to install CyanogenMod 10.2, which is based on Android 4.3, on your HTC One. Before you do any of this, you will have to have a unlocked bootloader and a custom cover recovery installed. I recommend Twerp since it is the easiest to use, and I'll be using it for this demonstration. You'll also have to download the latest nightly for your device. I am using an AT&T HTC One, but uh, there are versions out for the Sprint and International versions, as well as the T-Mobile version. There is no version out yet for the Verizon HTC One, so you'll have to wait on that if you are a Verizon user. And you'll also have to have the latest version of the G Apps package all of which you can find on the full tutorial on the HTC One Softmodder website. So I have already done all the requirements and the first thing I'm going to do is boot into the bootloader. You'll need to turn your device off and to get into the bootloader just press volume down and power button at the same time. So here we are in the bootloader and just press volume down and then power to confirm booting into recovery mode. Okay, here we are in recovery. The first thing uh, we should do is do a backup just so we have a full system backup in case something happens and you need to go back. You'll want to check off all the partitions listed. So boot, cache, data, recovery, and system. It's up to you whether you want to enable compression or not. Sometimes it will fail if compression is enabled. So just make sure that um, if it does fail, just uncheck compression and try it again. And then once you're done, just swipe the backup. When the backup is done, press the home button to go back to the home, button, the, uh, home screen. And then you'll need to wipe the system, so go to wipe. Go to Advanced Wipe, check off all the checkboxes other than internal storage. So Delvic Cache, Cache, Data, and System. Swipe to wipe it. The reason you don't want to check internal storage is because that wipes the internal uh, storage drive which actually houses the ROM and all your other files, so obviously you don't want to wipe those files, otherwise you won't be able to install the ROM. Once that's done, press home again and go to install. Scroll down until you see the nightly zip. Okay. You have to then select the GApps package, so select Add More Zips, and then select the GApps zip file. And then once you've done that, swipe to Flash. And then it installs pretty quick. Alright, it's done. Now just tap Reboot System. And it will reboot into CyanogenMod. It will take a little bit longer to boot into the ROM because on the first boot it has to uh, initialize all the files. So the first boot takes a little bit longer, but after that it will be a normal quick boot time.
Okay, it's now booted into the setup. So you'll see the welcome screen. You can choose the language that you want, then press continue. Then it's going to ask you to set up a Cyanogen uh, account. What this does, it's similar to the Android device manager and it allows you to remotely wipe the device, remotely track the device, um, and uh, a couple other features that will be added in the future. It's uh, optional to set this up, you don't need to do it. Um, it's more secure than the Android device manager, so I would recommend setting it up, but again, you do not have to, and you can skip it up at the top. Right now, I'm just going to skip it. Now it's going to ask you for a Google account. Um, so you'll want to enter your Google account if you have one, which I'm sure you do already. Right now I'm just going to skip it. Now it's going to ask you for location settings. So set these however you want. I personally turn them all on. Then tap next. Then I'll get the date and time settings. And tap next, and then you're done. And tap finish. And now you're at the home screen. So you notice it's a stock Android experience, and it's very smooth. It runs much better than the HTC Sense software. It's very, very smooth and very quick and you get all the features of stock Android 4.3 with the added bonus of a few tweaks in the system settings and a few special apps here and there. So I hope you found this helpful. Please comment or like the video if you enjoyed it or have any questions and feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the full tutorial on HTC One Soft Modern. Thanks for watching.